Okay, I found this. Their wire transfer instructions for a company in the Bahamas. Mark is flying down this week. You said that all we had to do was find out where he's based, right? So let's go to the Bahamas. Hey. Katie, hey. I'm sorry, but I, I can't. I can't stay in this Mark moment forever. I can't. And, and if I'm hey, good morning on this Saturday. What's going I'm on? The weekend is here. I see. I good morning. Good morning, Lady. Good morning, Queen Sean. How you doing? No, okay. I get it. No. Hey, okay. that Kay Dia. Okay. I just um What's going hey. on, Cornelius? What the business is? Thank you. What's going on? Okay. What's popping on the internet, y'all? Well, basically. That's what I wanna know. Friend. What the fuck is popping on the internet so I can roast about it? Yeah. Good morning. Out of Good morning. Good morning, everybody stepping in. What's <laughs> popping? Hey, good morning. It's an okay. awesome Saturday, I'm huh? In the loop. Oh, you working on a Saturday, Cornelius? Damn. Good morning. Blessings, beautiful. Blessings to you, too, Tree. Good morning. Good morning, Tasha. Listen, what's popping on the internet that I can roast, honey? What's up, Amelia? Good morning. What what's what's popping on the internet that I can roast about? Cause I know it's some shit going on that need to be discussed, need to be checked and corrected, honey. What's on social media? Let me Girl, this phone finna go dead. We can't go dead now. Let's plug, let's plug. Let's plug, let's plug up so we don't go dead. Say driving the garbage truck. Oh, you drive garbage trucks on a Saturday? Damn. On a Saturday? Get the fuck out of here. That is just, uh-uh, honey. What you say? What you say? Good morning, good morning. What? Say, add me, friend. What's I'm saying? What is what's what's going on down here or on social media that I ain't roast shit, y'all? Say, Tasha K versus who? Storm Monroe. Who is Storm Monroe? Who is Storm? See all these new people coming out. I don't know who the hell these people are. Who the hell is Storm Monroe? And why everybody treating Tasha K like she a celebrity? Good, good, can somebody tell me why everybody treating this YouTuber like she a celebrity? Because she ain't nothing but a big mouth. She ain't nothing but a big mouth. I ain't never heard of no Storm. They celebrities, bitch. That's a goddamn lie. Them hoes is not no goddamn celebrities. Tell me some Kaya versus rapper Yo-Yo. What? Yo-Yo? When the last time we ever heard about Yo-Yo? <laughs> Tell me some yes yeah, she is. Tasha K ain't no fucking celebrity. Tasha K is a motherfucking liar that sat and lied. On this this rapper for years and went to court and admitted that she was a liar. That bitch ain't no goddamn celebrity. That bitch is a motherfucking YouTuber with a big ass mouth that look like a goddamn rooster. And always drinking too much. Today, today, we're going to talk about Cardi B. <laughs> that bitch is not no fucking celebrity. What movie she debuted on? What song she put out? Bitch, that bitch is famous from YouTube. Stop it. And I don't know why these young ladies admire her. She is raggedy to me. Tasha K is raggedy. See, listen. Cardi B had done linked up with Lovely T. And then Nikki tried to link up with Tasha K. But then dropped Tasha K like a hot cake. Because she found out Tasha K used to talk about her. Tasha K is an opportunist fan. Cause I remember she came to my page talking about why you keep roasting me. Tell me some um we all could get this bag. We all could get to the bag. You ain't gotta keep coming for me, Ma. It's enough money to go around. Great morning, great morning. 
great morning, y'all. Hey, what's what's the hot topic on the internet, man? What's the hot topic that we could talk about on the internet, y'all? Blessings to everybody that's stepping in. What what what's the hot topic, y'all, that I could roast? That I could roast somebody on today. I need to know what's going on. I damn sure ain't roasting no goddamn Tasha K. I done roast her too many times. That bitch blocked me over here on Instagram. She DM me and say, can I interview you about your differences with Trina and Trick? And I say, long as I get to interview you about Cardi B. This before they even went to trial. That hoe blocked me. So I ain't roasting that bitch. Hey. <laughs> To my Andrew Tate. What Andrew Tate did? Good morning, good morning. Andrew Tate. Who was Andrew Tate? He a celebrity too. Or he one of those people that blew up off of social media too. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Tiffany. How you doing? To my roast show, yo, why? What did yo yo do? What did yo yo do for me to roast her? And ain't nobody talking about yo yo. I ain't seen not one person on the internet talk about her. The last time I heard anybody talk about her is back in the day when she played on the Martin show and when she used to rap. So I ain't nobody talking about that shit. Tell my son, what you think about uh, R. Kelly? You talking about R. Kelly? What I think about R. Kelly? You talking about the 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 pedophile? Good morning, good morning. Good morning to everybody that's stepping in. Some of some pastors say we can't listen to what? What he said we can't listen to? You talking about the lying pastor, the, the, the pastor that set his own robbery up? <laughs> you talking about the pastor that set his own robbery up? <laughs> talking about he got banned from IG and Facebook. Who? Who got banned from um Facebook and um <laughs> Good morning from DC. Hey, what's going on, Miss Kirby? Wait a minute. Who got banned from um Instagram and Facebook? Who got banned? Not the pastor. Oh, oh Lord. All the comments stopped. Let me see what it say. I probably done missed it. Say it again because I done missed it. Andrew Andrew Tate got banned from Facebook. Who is he? He a singer? He an actor? Who is Andrew? What do he do? What? Say she said folks can't listen to secular music. No, what happened to Andrew Tate? What is he? He a celebrity? He is he's a what he sing? He an actor? What is he? What is he? I'm waiting for the person to tell me what the fuck Andrew Tate is. Who is that? The only Tate I know that's a celebrity is Lorenz Tate that played on Minister Society. What I think about Blueface, girl, did you see how Blueface knocked that damn girl down to the ground? Girl, I would have had, ooh, girl, I would have had to let him meet the bullet, baby. He, he fired on that girl and knocked that girl down. I ain't going to lie, she bounced back, though. She must be got a strong face. Cause that baby bounced back and still was fighting, but uh uh-uh, uh blue face fighting that girl like shit nigga. That's why he like her, cause she she could take the abuse. He liked the fact that she gonna stick around even if he put hands on her. That's crazy. Blue face blue face is a woman beetle. And he only with that girl cause that girl that girl stick around to fight. I mean that's the girl to stick around. Let me read these comments. It say, who is... Oh, he a hairstylist. Oh, he ain't no celebrity. Oh, he do hair. Get 
get the fuck out of here. Y'all know I talk about celebrities. Say Christian is a fighter. Oh, yes, she is, baby. Yes, she is. He snatched her a ball spot. No. He snatched her hair out. See, Blueface, Blueface needs to run into somebody that's going to knock his ass out. Ain't he about six foot something? Ain't Blueface about six foot something? Yeah, but he like that type of drama, though. Tell me, what about Orlando Brown? Oh, my God. Orlando Brown, act like he's still a crackhead. They say he recovered and he's rehabilitated, but does the drugs have an after effect where it still have you acting like a dope fiend? Because that nigga be saying some off-the-wall shit like he see dead people. That is not the little boy that I know that used to play on that Tia Tamara show. That boy grew up to be weird. That boy grew up to be weird, man. He's a real live weird. Then he talk about how he had sex with uh, 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 the girl. The girl who looked like Lisa Ray. What's the little girl name played on the Cosby show? Yeah, he be doing too much, man. Tell me, yes, it does have after effects. Well, he got it. He got the after, the before, and the mid effect. I can change. You can help me change. How many were there, Mark? A third? Yeah, looking. Raven, yeah, Raven. Raven Simone. Yeah, he be doing too much. I think that acting shit as childhood actors be fucking a lot of these people mental up. Cause all them kind of off. Like them childhood actors from like the eighties and nineties, they kind of weird. Them childhood actors be kind of off, man. Like something that happened to them during their childhood, they be weird. Hey, everybody. Them childhood actors be real fucking weird, man. When they get older, they be doing some dumb shit. And they supposed to be set, but I hear them parents be spending up they money when they be getting their ends. That money be going to say, yes, I agree. Something be wrong with all of them. I'm talking about all of them got a story. All of them got a story, child. It just don't make no sense. Hey, everybody stepping in. We, we trying to decide who I'm going to roast. We trying to figure out who I should roast child. Say using their kids, using their kids for the come up. Exactly. Not trying to make their kids successful. Just looking for how they can come up on some ends, on some money. That's true. That is a fact. What, what's the popping tea on the internet? So I can roast whoever it is. Who, who doing dumb shit online? Who doing some dumb shit online? That's all I need. I just need to see the name of the people that's doing something dumb so I can roast them. I ain't been really keeping up. I ain't been really keeping up with social media. I'm trying to figure out who who out here doing something stupid so I can roast them right quick. Are you sure, Yes. Didn't you notice our skin? Talking about these plastic surgeries that has... Oh, my God. But you know what? I don't knock people that get plastic surgery. I knock people that go overboard. I don't I don't knock people that get plastic surgery. I don't think it's a problem with a woman enhancing herself. But if it's proportioned right, right. But I'm tired of these women that look like Buzz Life. Like, if you walk into the airport, you always seeing these girls on these stencil legs. Got this big ass Goodyear blimp sitting on the back of their lower back, and it just look weird. It's like when they when they do the work, the work doesn't look natural. The work looks overdone. And then when they get one procedure, they go back to enhance the procedure more because they not happy with it. But do they realize when they looking at Becky with the thick legs and the big butt that she is proportioned? She meant to have that collard green neck bone. 
uh, uh, looking behind like she eat real good. You can't be around here with starving legs and going to get a big butt. A plant and a big butt because the butt don't match your legs. That just don't go, honey. You can't have your legs looking like feed the children and then your butt looking like the nutty professor. It just don't go. I don't understand how women just don't see that in the mirror like it's just too much added. You trying to be thick like somebody else, but them people meant to be like that. Everybody is not meant to have an ass, y'all. Some of us meant to have no ass. Everybody is not meant to have a don't. Because your body is not built to carry that. And Kaya went and paid all that money to get her butt done. And it still looked like an infant ass. What kind of booty Kaya got? She paid for that, y'all. And she used to sit on her live and talk about people so bad they go up under the knife and get surgery. She used to drag people and dog them out. And then she gonna upload this video where she done went to this surgeon in Atlanta and got hers done. Ain't that a whole hypocrite? Kaya is a whole fucking hypocrite. This bitch said, ain't nobody checking for no 50-year-old rapper. These hoes still out here trying to rap and do music videos and shit. That shit played out. Bitches ain't checking for no old rapper. That's what she said on a lie. Now she on videos doing an old song from 20 years ago, Kane Wayne with it. Don't get me wrong. Kane Wayne is a hit. It's a nice song, but bitch, don't you think it would have been smart to do a video 20 years ago for that song when that song was popping? I heard that it's going viral on TikTok right now. That's why that hoe trying to do a music video because she think this is her only way to kick the dough in. Bitch, you is not going viral with that video looking like motherfucking Big Bird and that yellow ass feathery ass dress all that see-through shit showing your areolas in every goddamn video with your arms hanging and sagging and gravity is snatching your arms down to the concrete bitch with your bad body ass you don't got body work and your body still look beat up bitch you look like you got shot about a hundred times and you still around here trying to juke and dance bitch and that ain't even the Kane Wayne you doing in your music video you should have got some young kids and put them in that video so they could have did the Kane Wayne with it. Because what you doing, bitch, ain't even a two-step, bitch. You doing the whole grandma juke. Okay. Kaya's doing the whole motherfucking grandma juke with that big-ass helmet on her motherfucking head and her hairline starting in the middle of her head. I don't know where she going. Them dreads is taking her hairline all the way back, bitch. I ain't never seen nobody hairline run away from their face the way it's running away from Kaya's face. Bitch, you need a bang. You need a bang. Call you need a dread bang. On that video looking like head and motherfucking saggy arms. Did you see her arms? And then it looked like she got a breast lift. But her arms. Her arms say 102. Her arms don't say 50 something year old. Her arms say that she's 102. Bitch that bitch need an arm tug. I'm so tired of her being half naked with these old saggy ass arms. Bitch, you need to do some push-ups, Kaya. You need to do some arm weight lifts. You need to do something about them arms. It's nowhere in the world your arms supposed to look like a baloney out of an Oscar Mayer wiener pack. Bitch, that bitch arms look like baloney. And she sit on her platform and talk about everybody like a D.O.G. A whole fucking roof roof. That bitch be dogging people out. Just talking about people, dead mamas and all that. Bitch, and she look like a walking corpse by the arms. Bitch, all that orange makeup on her face. Did you see her walking in the field in front of the motherfucking barn with all this orange plastic ass cheap Dollar Tree makeup foundation on her face? Where the fuck is you going with a brown body and orange face? Them people that filmed you ain't even tell you that that shit looked it crazy. Bitch, you look like you played in the motherfucking Sharpie marker section of Walgreens and picked out every color shade of orange marker and scrubbed it on your face. It just don't make no goddamn sense, Kaya, how you be stepping out here in this world. It's so much fashion 
shit on the internet that you could have did. Because you could tell you using your PP loan, a stimulus check. For you to wait 20 years to do a music video, some type of check came in, bitch, from the government. And you using it to come up and make this video. Bitch, you need to get them people their money back because it's nowhere in the world you can't pay attention to online and pay attention to these young girls and they fashion and try to do what they doing. And you can find a real makeup artist in Atlanta. It's too many good makeup artists in Atlanta for Kaya to be looking the way she doing. And who the fuck be putting them lace wigs on her head and be putting casket baby hairs on her edges? Every, every piece of baby hair that bitch had on her head looked like a miniature casket. It just don't make no sense. Them lace wigs is not supposed to be that goddamn huge. Trying to hide all them dreads up under that wig. Man, listen. First of all, Kaya need to cut all that crochet shit out of here. Because they not all natural dreads. It's some weave added in that. She need to shave that shit off. And if she gonna wear lace wig, let it look appropriate. Let it look nice. She need a new hairdresser. Y'all ain't got people in Atlanta that know how to apply lace wigs the proper way. She be on that platform talking about everybody. And then Kaya, she so motherfucking bad legged. The bitch ain't paratol. She ain't not knee. She ain't bow leg. She bad leg. The bitch is bad leg. When she posed, she looked like a motherfucking animated cricket. The bitch be looking like an animated cricket and her nostrils so motherfucking big. I ain't never seen a bitch where you could see through their nose. You could see their whole goddamn cartilage. Bitch, the, no, the whole nose look like a motherfucking uh, uh, a window when you window shopping at the mall. You could see everything in this whole nostrils. Your nose little and your nostrils big, bitch. I can see your heartbeat. But you sitting around talking about everybody. That's how I know that whole snort coat. She do something. And then she always wiping the corners of her mouth. Kaya always wiping the corners of her mouth. Always trying to get some gook shit out of her mouth. You a grown ass woman. You can't stop the drip. Why your shit always leaking out the side of your mouth? You always, every time you go live, you always wiping the corners of your mouth. I ain't never seen a grown woman just wipe all the drip all the goddamn time. Those are dope addict habits. When you see a bitch wiping the corners of their mouth, that is dope addict habits. And then she got tired of everybody talking about her wearing them beanies in, on her head and the motherfucking sheet and car covers. She stopped wearing them shits. Now this whole trying to be bold, but now we want her to wrap that shit back up because it's just too much forehead. It's too much, it's too much goddamn head, man. Girl got too much goddamn head. She play too goddamn much. And I'm just sick of it. That bitch sit and talk about everybody, mammy, grandmammy, kids, and all. I remember she talked about Lil' Kim baby. I was like, this hoe just is unstoppable. You hear me? This bitch is so miserable. But see, she doing something productive. But bitch, you need to, first of all, make songs that belong to you. Kaya ain't got too many songs that belong to her. She got about two songs out of the 50 songs. She say 800 songs she got. I ain't heard all 800 of them. But I could believe she got maybe 50, 60 songs. And out of the 50, 60 songs, only two of them belong to her, actually. Because she always listening to other people's songs and re reconstructing the words. That, that my neck and my back is her number one hit. And it don't even belong to her. It belong to Uwe Jai. Bitch, every song that Kaya write be a rendition of somebody else's song. This bitch ain't got a creative bone in her body. Everything she got, she still and she love pointing out that bitch is stole from her. Bitch, you is the number one thief. Everything you do is, 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 is theft wise. You always stealing some shit. But always going live on your panel talking about somebody took something from you. Bitch, call it karma. It's karma. If somebody ever took something from you, Kyra, it's karma. You just getting karma, girl. From all the times you done stole people's shit. And, and, and the motherfucking um, rapper um, G.E.G. that was saying the loop. Girl, you stole the whole hook and verse. 
and rap that girl song and got mad at that goddamn lady because that lady called you out. You said that girl verse word for word. You ain't take some of that shit out. You ain't reconstruct the shit. You said that girl verse word for word. And everybody was like, oh, God, you got a new song out. Bitch, that song was Jiggy G goddamn song. Do the research. Call you be always stealing people goddamn song. And then I hate when y'all motherfuckers come to my page talking about black women always tearing black women down. Bitch, she ain't no black motherfucking woman. That bitch is a motherfucking alien. That bitch ain't human. Kaya is not fucking human. I am not tearing a black woman down. I'm telling, I'm tearing a motherfucking creature from another fucking planet down. But that bitch is not fucking human. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. I am not tearing a black woman down, bitch. And then not only that, that bitch sit on her panel and tear black women down all the time. The audacity of y'all bitches coming over here talking about black women always tearing black women down. What the fuck you think she do? This bitch done talked about Mariah Carey, Trina. She called Trina sourpuss. I got so tired of hearing that motherfucking word, bitch. And she got the most sourest pussy out here. She had a whole car wash in Tampa called Hoshan. Bitch, your, your car wash was called hoe shine. That mean a bunch of hoes shining cars. So who got the sour pussy again? They be blowing me away, bitch. Kai is a whole projectory. That whole project how she feel about herself on every woman that she talked about. Every woman that she done sat on her panel and talked about, that's how she feel about her dog ass. She feel that way about her motherfucking self. That's why she always talking about people. And the bitch won't run one with me on the internet. Because she know I will slaughter her ass. With the truth. Why you sit on your panel and you lie and make up shit about motherfuckers. Or you take information that bitches already said. And they be like, Kaya already said it. No, Kaya heard bitches say something. And she repeated. First of all, Kaya is not from Miami-Dade County. So when you hear Kaya talking about motherfucking poking beans and Opa Locker, I get so tired of these bitches writing in the comments. Tell my son, Kaya got that Opa Locker look. How the fuck she got an Opa Locker look and that bitch ain't from Miami? That bitch is from Philadelphia, moved to Tampa when she was nine years old and ran away from Tampa because everybody going to whoop her ass for stealing the song and not signing a contract. And she moved to Atlanta to get away from her ass whooping in Tampa. Stop playing. Stop playing. Y'all play too much, man. That bitch is not from Miami-Dade County, bitch. That bitch only talk about anything she hear. When she hear rumors that come out of our city, that hoe talk about it. And then everybody like, ooh, Kaya said that. She spilled that tea. No, she didn't. She repeating tea. That hoe be repeating what the fuck she heard. That hoe don't be having no receipts. She don't be knowing shit. She only repeat what the fuck she hear. She'll see a bitch post something about Trina. That bitch a post it. Y'all think she found it. Y'all think that hoe did her research and found that shit out. No. That hoe either was told that or repeating some shit. And why do she dress like that? Why do Kaya dress like that? Kaya wear that shit. That shit that she be having on be looking swap meatish. Why the fuck she be putting that shit on? It's it's 2022, and Kaya is still dressing like that music video, My Neck and My Back, when she had that faded-ass polo t-shirt on with the dead horse and the dead jockey on that shirt. The imitation polo t-shirt that was made for a motherfucking nine-year-old. She had on a medium shirt on that video with them medium ass dreads with that bleached face and that dog body. She was using fair white back then. Her face was bleached down. She had a circle. She had a ring around her face. Her face was light and her body was dark. Stop playing. Y'all better stop talking, trying to take up for that raggedy mouth ass bitch always talking about people like she innocent. The same way she could sit on her panel and talk about people is the same way anybody else could sit around and talk about her dog ass. Stop acting like people can't talk about that mud. Because that's what she is. You just said ain't nobody checking for no 50-year-old rapper. And here you is doing the old lady joke. In front of uh, uh, these don'ts, these cars, bitch. Bitch, you ain't young, Kaya. Bitch, you is not young. Your arms tell everybody that you not young. 
When your arms go to saggling and dangling and shaking like that, it's time to sit your motherfucking ass down back in front of that asbestos ass bookshelf and, and, and catch monkey pox. When your arms dangling like that, you ain't got no choice but to sit down and wait for monkey pox to come get you over. Ain't no way in the world I'm going to be around here trying to dance like I'm the city girl with my arms hanging and dangling, looking like it need fat transfer. Call your arms look like it need fat transfer. And her, uh, her hands is the strongest part of her body. Ooh, and I, ooh, y'all seen that roast, uh, that thing Claudia put up? And I shared Claudia, ooh, Claudia, to, ooh, Claudia told Kaya up. She was so fucking funny. But I disagree with Funky Dineva. Funky Dineva said, Kaya look like the average black woman in the face. And Kaya got the average black woman body bill. No, Kaya got a strong little boy body bill. And her arms look like it belonged to a woman that's 102. You a goddamn lie, Funky Dineva. Talking about that goddamn girl look like the average black woman. It just sounds like you got pressure with black women, dog. I just hate to say it because you Dade County. I ain't even supposed to be talking like this. But for real, you know damn well Kaya don't look like the average black motherfucking woman. Not even her fangs in her mouth look like the average black woman. This bitch got pennies in her motherfucking mouth. And the average black woman ain't got no 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 pennies. No copper pennies melted down on their goddamn teeth in their mouth. Stop playing with black women. Black women do, the average black woman do not look like no fucking Kaya. That is a lie. And the truth ain't in that shit. That, the truth is not in that shit. Kaya do not look like the average black woman. I ain't never seen a lookalike. I ain't never seen Kaya lookalike yet. Not a black woman. I, I seen I seen she looked like that motherfucking Crip Keeper on that movie, that Halloween with them scary movies with the, the skeleton that be sitting in front of the, the thing before they tell the movie. She looked like the Crip Keeper, but I ain't never seen a black woman that looked like Kai. I ain't never seen her look alike. I did. I'm just sick of it, y'all. Hey, everybody stepping in. Oh, when I when I go to talking about Kaya, I could do a whole run-on sentence by that bitch. I could do a whole fucking run-on sentence by that bitch. Because she be doing too much. Hey, everybody stepping in. What's going, what's going on? What's going on? We just talking about Kaya weird ass. We just on here talking about Kaya weird ass. That's a weird bitch. She is weird. And the only reason why these blogs share her because she goofy as fuck. They like sharing Kaya not because she funny because the bitch is all really goofy. And, and, and they not laughing with Kaya. They laughing at her motherfucking ass because the bitch goofy as fuck. Kaya goofy, Kaya goofy as fuck. Thank you so much, babes. Kaya, Kaya goofy as fuck. That's the only reason why she make it on that she say stupid shit. She say stupid stuff, child. They only like Kaya because Kaya, Kaya say stupid stuff. To my um, he big bird looking. What? I don't know what that said. Yeah, she look a mess in front of them cars. Can't even do her own dance. That's why you know that song Kane Wayne came from somewhere else and she reconstructed because she can't even do the damn dance. She can't even do the Kane Wayne child. She Kyle can't even do her own fucking dance. She should have got some children on on there that know how to do it. There's a couple of people in Tampa say it's some people that know how to do the dance. They say Kane Wayne. They say Kane. K Wayne. I keep saying Kane Wayne. K Wayne is a guy from out of at, at out of Tampa. They say it's a dude out of Tampa. 
And that's where the song came from. He used to do a dance. Bitch. Nah, they said that song was going viral. That's why that hoe trying to make a music video. She should have got somebody on there that knew how to dance. Hey, everybody stepping in. And the pastor don't went live again to talk about him being robbed for the hundred million time. Did he go live again to talk about how he got robbed for the hundred million time? Did he go live to talk about his robbery? Because that's the only thing. I love you too. That's the only thing that man can fucking talk about. That keeps him relevant. Is he? Did he go live again to talk about how he got robbed for the hundred million times? What's going on? Hey, DJ Miss Pooh. Girl, no, he went live again. It child. If that was a fake robbery, the next time he get robbed, it's gonna be a real one, child. God forbid. I ain't wishing that shit on nobody. Yeah, but that's how he should be. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Yeah, child, we was talking about Kaya doing a new music video 20 years later. And who around her in her camp ain't telling her that ain't smart. Oh, yeah, I talked about that a couple, I think last week about that same ring on his finger and a roast I did about him. <sighs> it just don't make no sense, child. It just don't make no sense. I'm dead to the bed, baby. It just don't make no sense. Let me see, who want to go live with me? Besides these people from overseas that can't speak English. I'm trying to see who want to go live with me. Because I got a lot of people on here that want to go live with me. But they ain't from over here. Who who the fuck who the fuck over here in the United States that speak English want to go live with me? Hey, what's going on, Willie Show? How you doing? Who, who want to go live with me? First of all, who in the, in the, in, in, on this live want to make a million dollars who on this live want to fight the the pastor for that million dollars because evidently he want to fight dl hughley and dl hughley told him he don't fight this fuck nigga want to fight a motherfucking comedian who who on this live that want to go live with me that want to take that challenge and fight the pastor for a million dollars because he done set it up he done got in contact with this man that orchestrated that black china celebrity boxing fight so i'm trying to figure out uh, Cause the man was on his lab. Who on this lab want to fight the pastor for a million dollars? I know we got a. I know we got a real thoroughbred on here that could go live with me. That want to knock that pastor out since he want to fight D.L. Hughley and D.L. Hughley old enough to be his daddy. D.L. Hughley should be in his sixties right now, and then that nigga ain't like in his forties. And you want to fight somebody that could be your daddy? Who who in the crowd want to fight? Get in the window so I can pull you a who. Who want to challenge that pastor and fight that pastor? Who want to fight that pastor so I can pull y'all up? I know it's a dude on here that can knock that, that pastor out. Because he say he going to knock D.L. Hughley out. D.L. Hughley, why you want to fight somebody that don't want to fight? Make it make sense. Who who in here that want to fight that pastor? That want to get a million dollars? Somebody say, let me see. Somebody say, I will say, what is it? I will scrape. Damn, I will scrape him. I'm a whole woman. We, I'm trying to find a dude in here that want to. I want to. I'm trying to find a dude in here that want to box with this man for a million dollars. Wait a minute that want to knock, knock this pastor out for one to fight D.L. Hughley. Because D.L. Hughley said he don't want to fight. Where the men at that box? I could pull you up and you could you could shoot your shot at him and I could share this on my page so he could see somebody ain't scared. 
who in the crowd want to fight him? Who in the crowd want to fight, take his challenge for the million dollars? Who want to, who, who in the crowd want to, want to get on the line? That's a man that, that want to take that challenge. So I can help y'all go viral. Who want, who want to go viral? Who want to go viral wanting to box this pastor? I want, I want somebody that know how to fight. A man that know how to fight to get on my live with me to challenge this pastor. And I can make him go viral. Who the hell want to fight this pastor? Because he a whole sucker want to fight D.L. Hughley. And Hughley is a comedian and not a boxer. Why don't you challenge Roy Jones so Roy Jones can knock your ass out? Since you want to fight an older man that's willing to fight, challenge Roy Jones. Everybody tag Roy Jones in this live. Everybody tag Roy Jones. Everybody tag Roy Jones in this live. Everybody at Roy Jones. At Roy Jones so we can pull him on this live. That's what we need to do. We need to pull Roy Jones on this live so I can ask him to fight that pastor in the place of a D.L. Hughley. Since, since he want to fight so bad. Because he can't even see his son right now. Because they said he put hands on his son. If you read online, it's public inv information. The reason why that pastor can't get his son. Because they said he laid hands on his son. So now that he want to lay hands on D.L. Hughley. I see where all the aggression come from. You like to fight people, even children. So everybody tag Roy Jones. Everybody tag Roy Jones in this live so we could pull him up. Since since the pastor want to fight and he want to do a celebrity fight, let's see if he want to fight Roy Jones. Roy Jones gonna beat the shit out of out of the pastor. He gonna beat that boy in a coma. He round here telling my son, beat people in the name of Jesus. Everybody tag Roy Jones so Roy Jones can beat this pastor up right quick. Tag Roy Jones, everybody. Everybody tag Roy Jones. At Roy Jones in the comment section. At Roy Jones. At Roy Jones. Everybody at Roy Jones in the comment section. At Roy Jones. Everybody at Roy Jones. Yeah. Add him in the, in the comments. At Roy Jones. Because Roy Jones will beat the shit out of Pastor Whitehead. That's what we want. Since P Pastor Whitehead want to fight and he say boxing is just a sport. Let him fight somebody that box. Let him fight somebody that box. Everybody, everybody at Roy Jones in the comment. Yeah, Roy Jones. Let Roy Jones take that challenge. Since you want to fight people that, that could be your daddy. And, 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 and people that want to fight. Fight Roy Jones. Pass the white head. That's who you need to fight. Whitehead, he, listen, Roy Jones going to change Pastor Whitehead to a new name. His name ain't going to be Pastor Whitehead. His name going to be Pastor Split to the White Meat. Your name going to be switched from Whitehead to Split to the White Meat. After Roy Jones get through tagging your behind and beating you up. Yeah, everybody at Roy Jones. Roy Jones, this is a SOS out to you, sir. You need to fight that Pastor Whitehead. Pastor Whitehead want to fight D.L. Hughley because he know D.L. Hughley don't want to fight. So now that he said he's going to set up a celebrity boxing challenge, I choose you, Roy Jones. I choose you to fight this pastor. And I want you to change his name from Pastor Whitehead to Pastor Split You to the White Meat because he is deserving to put some hands on him. He be in the church laying fake hands on people. He be laying fake hands on the congregation. I want you to lay some real hands on him. I want you to hit him with that one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, uppercut to the side, body shot to the face, lay him out, TKO, knock out, put him to sleep, let him snore, let him think about being a real pastor, make him want to go save after you whoop him. After you put them hands on him, I want him to want to be saved after you beat him, Roy Jones. We going to change Pastor Whitehead to Plaster Pastor, split you to the white meat. So you're going to have to change your name on Instagram. Your name on Instagram is no longer 
Pastor Whitehead. Your name is Pastor Split to the White Meat. Because Roy Jones is just going to do that. He is going to split you to the white meat. You talk too much trash to be a pastor. You show no humility. You show no discernment. You is not a real pastor. You is a prison pastor. You is a, a fraud. A person that ran off with people money. And got locked up in the feds. Because you steal people money. that put their trust in you. And you start calling on God when you got locked up. And you decided to ordain yourself and become a pastor in prison and you came out with that prison activity that that motherfucking uh what they call it that that um that um what they call it that um when they when they be when they be when they be trained in the head with that prison activity you came home with that prison activity on how you gonna come up off of a congregation you built the church not because you love god you built the church because you know that they get tithes and offering and you needed that money to flip and go into real estate you start investing in yourself to become a realtor and then you start making money off of running off with people that give you money that believe that you could put them in a home and you start running off with people home money people that give you they last like you did to this lady that gave you money with a verbal agreement instead of writing down anytime y'all make an agreement with this fool if y'all smart enough y'all won't make an agreement with this fool y'all won't patronize them and do business with them but if y'all do make sure it's documented and make sure that your lawyer drew up the contract don't let his lawyer draw up no contract because this man is flaky make sure that your lawyer draw up the contract before you get this man any money because this man is gonna run off with your shit and he gonna buy fendi louis gucci and put it in his prayer closet with the neon lights and he gonna walk around in that closet and talk about he prayed to god in that room and then you ain't gonna see not one bible you ain't gonna see not one bottle of anointing oil olive oil all you gonna see is name brand suits robes that he need to be in a choir trying to sing instead of preaching and you gonna see name brand shoes and you gonna see him floss and say he ain't talking about materialistic things but he gonna open up his life to brag on materialistic things and afterwards he gonna talk about how much he misses his kids but the reason why he can't get his kids is cause he putting hands on them and laying dinglings on top of their head cause that's what the baby mama said the baby mama said he took one of the kids in the bathroom and laid his whole dingaling on top of one of the kids heads so when he say he misses children he said the baby mama lying and slammed him you said too clear this baby mama didn't go live and say this you said it out your own mouth you pastor you didn't even filter it and these kids gonna grow up they gonna watch your live and they gonna see you talking about a whole dingaling being sat on top of their head yeah that's what that pastor said I can't get my kids because my baby mama said I touched my baby's private part and said I set my dick on top of one of my children's head. You didn't even clean that up. You should have just said my baby mama said I did some type of sexual acts on my child. No, you said you said your baby mama said you set your dingling on top of one of your kids head. What kind of pastor talks like that? What kind of pastor talks like that, man? I don't know not one pastor that would even say nothing like that on social media for that type of stuff to go viral. Yeah, he said that. He said that. Them kids get older and they got to watch these lives go viral. These lives. You ain't see the video when he said that? Pastor, um. Pa I almost said that nigga name. I almost said Pastor Goodhead instead of Whitehead. <laughs> I almost said you heard what Pastor Goodhead said. <laughs> I almost said Pastor Goodhead. <laughs> but yeah, Pastor Whitehead said that about his own children. That video, them videos going viral and they going to stay up on the internet. It just don't make no sense. It just don't make no sense, y'all. This man is a weirdo. This man is a stone cold weirdo, y'all. I don't know where they get this name. Then he's talking about because I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from the city where they lay hands. Nigga, don't you know it's plenty of cities where niggas lay hands? Bitch, Kimbo Slice is from Miami-Dade County, and he was knocking niggas out left and right, bitch, and he wasn't from no motherfucking Brooklyn. 
Most of the best of the best that box professionally that was knocking niggas out one from no motherfucking Brooklyn. Bitch, you must be don't know it's a struggle in every state and it's a city where it's a nigga that's gonna knock your ass out and don't care about what name you screaming about where you from. It's a nigga that could put your ass in a coma with one hit. Bitch, upper cup your ass and make your chin go into your brain, bitch. I don't know what you talking about. It's a lot of niggas that will upper cup a nigga and make his whole chin go into his brain. You round here talking about Brooklyn. I'm not saying Brooklyn don't got no hard thoroughbreds. But if you sleeping on anybody in Cali, in hood, in the hood, anybody from Miami in the hood, anybody in New Jersey in the hood, anybody from Atlanta in the hood, them Atlanta niggas be collard green, neck bones, ham hocks, and they lift motherfucking logs and wood, bitch. They don't lift weights, bitch. They lift natural shit. They chop trees and lift up motherfucking uh, uh, barks. This nigga beat your ass into a coma talking about you from Brooklyn. You just ain't running to the right out of town that'll put some hands on you. And I ain't talking about praying for you. I'm talking about put some hands on you and have your last look like you planking. Like uh, the white folks done stole you from Africa and put your ass on the boat and have your ass planking for the rest of your life, bitch. What is you talking about? You'll be around here looking like a slave that was stole from Africa. And, and, and when he hit you, you'll look like you planking. Y'all play too much. Y'all better start talking about where you from and this and that. It ain't where you from, it's where you at. If you from the old school, you know it's not where you from, it's where you at. That's how it always been. Not where you from, where you at. Yeah, he a peon. This nigga want to be a rapper, though. This pastor does not want to be an ordained pastor. This pastor wants to be a hip-hop celebrity. He wants to hang with all the rappers. He want to claim 50 Cent. He want to claim Fat Joe. He want to claim like he roll in they circle. Bitch, you do not roll in these motherfucking hard-working, hard-working entertainer circle. You was an accidental blue check carrier, bitch. You got robbed, and that's the only reason why you got a verified check. Pastor, fake pastor. The only reason why you got a verified check is because you got robbed. Not because you the, the, uh, entertainer. Because a nigga put some iron to your head and put some steel up in your eight-month-old baby face and, and tapped your baby mama or wife on the head and said, Bitch, act Aki. That's the only reason why you got a verified check. Because some young niggas walked up in that church with that iron and said, Don't act Aki. And stole all that motherfucking stole jewelry that you alleged you had on at all times. At the same time, bitch, who you think you is, Mr. T? All them jewelry items you said they stole ain't nowhere in the world because it ain't near video. When I go down your platform, you had that much jewelry on. You never have on four, five chains and four, five bracelets and six, seven rings. These are all the items you told the police that was robbed from you. And you not one video has you on there where you wearing that much jewelry. Before the robbery or after the robbery. You is a whole liar. Not one video has you where you got on all those items you claimed was taken from you that day when you was robbed. You never sat on your platform talking about something that jury be up under your clothes. So you mean to tell me you decided to sit one chain on the outside and carry the rest of the chains up under your clothes? Shut the fuck up. Because when we see you in t-shirts, them chains be sitting on the outside. You don't see no bulk in the shirt. Ain't no bulk where there's no other jury up under the shirt. You lying, fool. You a whole compulsive liar. Everything you say out your mouth is fraudulent. Everything you say out your mouth is fraudulent. I haven't seen you quote a, a church verse yet. And don't watch this live and start trying to quote Genesis chapter 1 and 2 and all that. You get on your flat platform, all you say is what you normally hear people say about 
God and regular saying that people say in the church. But I have yet to see you sit on your platform and say in Matthew verse 10, chapter 9, you don't, you don't, you ain't no preacher that quote scriptures. You don't read back. Nigga, you don't read Bibles. You read motherfucking rap magazines. You read you read hip hop magazines. You keep up with the latest rappers because you a whole fan out here. Trying to trying to fit in with celebrities and you a whole fan. And the way I can tell you a fan, when you get on the platform with them, you be acting all excited. You be like, oh, and I really love you, Fat Joe. And, hey, you know, I watch you for a long time. And, and, and you, man, you a whole fucking groupie out here. That man is a whole, whole goddamn groupie with a verified check for getting robbed. A whole verified check for getting robbed. Exactly. Y'all can't hear me? Everybody else can hear me. Have a wonderful day, babes. Everybody else can hear me. I don't know why you can't hear me. Turn your volume up. Exactly. Nah, that's some that's somebody hating in here. You listen, them haters come through, they be like, We can't hear you. They be lying. Cause they be they be dick suckers and pussy eaters of the celebrities that I roasted. So they come in, they be trying to throw a bitch off. Tell me, no, bitch, get you a hearing aid. That's what you need to get. You need to get you something to put in your ears so you can hear. Because everybody on this live hear me except your dog ass. But, yeah, that's what I want to say, y'all. That's all I want to say. Yeah, that's them, that be them haters that be coming in, bitch. Mm. Them ESC, them bitches that be getting a check because they don't want to work. So they, they claim that they um have um some type of, uh, uh what that is, mental illness. They get them disability mental checks or whatever. Good morning. Good morning, babes. They be getting them checks. What they call it, them checks when people be claiming that they slow. That's them type of people that be coming here. Them, them motherfucking Kaya fans that be supporting her and that saggy ass arm um, that's dancing in the video trying to do the cane wang. Mm -hmm. That's what that is, bitch. Since Kaya out here buying booties and stuff, tell her to go to the dentist and get the motherfucking teeth fixed that's laying on top of each other and tell her to go get her arm um, tucked. That's what she need to do. Get a, get a motherfucking arm took. Well, we went live, y'all. I enjoyed y'all. I enjoyed y'all. Really made my day going live with y'all. Y'all, we just chopped it up. I I was trying to see if anybody was gonna tell me who going viral on the internet right now, so we could talk about them and I could roast them. I ain't been seeing no other crazy activity. The only crazy activity I've been seeing online is that pastor. And Kaya trying to do the cane wang and can't even do it. And trying to make a music video 20 years later. That's the only buffoonery I've been seeing online. Yeah, that whole need an arm tuck. Y'all be seeing that arm dangling in that music video. That arm be shaking like baloney. Ain't no way in the world I'm going to make a music video for a song I did 20 years ago. That mean I looked at 20 years younger. Back then. So that mean I look 20 years older. That mean I'm going to get a booty tuck and my arm tuck. Well, this laugh in the end, y'all. I probably will go live again. This laugh in the end.